There are few truly iconic names in all of sport, and one of them happens to be the all-time winningest football coach in Notre Dame history, a Norwegian Protestant who came to Notre Dame as a student, played a little football, ran a little track, graduated, became a chemistry professor, and then went on to become arguably the greatest football coach of all time, Knut Rockte. I'm excited to be joined now on the phone by a high school football coach in Utah who just happens to share the same name, Knut Kenneth Rockte III, grandson of the legendary Notre Dame coach. Coach, thank you for joining us. Thank you, it's my pleasure to be here. Now, Knut is the proper pronunciation of your name and your grandfather's name, right? Yes, it is. It's the Norwegian. What's it like to be a football coach in this country with the name Knut Rockte? Um, originally, when I first started, when I was much younger, it, there was a lot bigger deal to it. Um, right now, as I get near the end of my, my coaching career and my uh, teaching time, uh, a lot of kids don't know who he was. Mm -hmm. And so it's as each generation gets a little older and they get a little farther and farther away from the impact my grandfather had, uh, fewer and fewer people make the connection. So tell us about your own coaching career. I, the kids on your high school team, have they connected with your famous lineage? I think, it, it, for the most part, yeah. The, the kids that we coach at some point in time, either you know on, on practice or during workouts, and I'll wear some Notre Dame gear, they have an, an idea of you know who, who my grandfather is, so they understand why you know I, I wear Notre Dame stuff. Um, right now, we have a young man playing for us who will be a senior next year, but he's being recruited by Notre Dame, and he went back to uh, Notre Dame this past summer, and uh, when he came back, he, all he did was talk about how great the campus was in his visit, and he's very excited about the opportunity to be recruited by Notre Dame. I, I'd say we had an end there. Your grandfather I, revolutionized the sport when it was up in the air because of the violence and the contact in the game. He redesigned uniform. He re redesigned the pads they wear. His impact on the game was so far reaching. Uh, talk about that a little bit. Well, I, I think before you talk about those kinds of things, I think the biggest difference when you talk about Grandpa and his impact on the game, he was one of the very first people who, who talked about um, the mental aspect of the game and how he was more concerned with getting smart players mm -hmm. who were good students and, and that kind of stuff than just the great big giant, you know, um, physical people who played the smash mouth, you know, kind of football. That wasn't grandpa's style. He was much more intellectual and uh, his aspect was like the invention of the Notre Dame shift to the box, you know, the single wing. Grandpa kind of revolutionized football with, with that aspect from a mental standpoint of just being able to take smaller players, but yet use speed and quickness and mental agility, so to speak, in order to you know defeat their opponents. He also had a keen appreciation for public relations, taking his team to New York City, playing Army, getting a lot of attention from the nation's press at that time. There was no internet, was no TV, barely radio. He really had his ear tuned to public relations, didn't he? I, I think he, he had a, one of the first individuals to understand the importance of mass media and for that period of time the 20s you know it was radio and um, he was very in tune with that he he knew the the power and influence that sports writers had and so he was always in a position where he tried to you know help them you know write a story as well as present a, a product that was going to favor Notre Dame and you know when you talk about going to New York or going to Los Angeles or those other places. Notre Dame was the first major school to play outside, you know, a localized region, the, the Midwest. And because of what Notre Dame did, um, it brought about the creation of the NCAA. There had to be a national group to control all of the schools 
because you know pretty soon people were going different places and there wasn't any way to to control them other than just by conference rules and so because Notre Dame played without a conference and they would play anybody anywhere so to speak the NCAA evolved to be that legislative group how closely do you follow Notre Dame these days could it oh I every day <laughs> yeah I I am I'm in in tune as much as probably any other fan. Yeah. How often do you get back to campus? We were just back. I I had the pleasure of taking my my uh, grandson Canute the fourth, and he attended his first function. We went back to the spring game. Oh, that's great. So I great. was there just a couple weeks ago. That's great. Yeah, it was a it was a fun time. Well, Coach Rockney, thank you so much for joining us on Notre Dame Day. Your grandfather's legacy with Notre Dame is unmatched. Hope your team has a great season this fall. Go Irish. Thank you. Thank you very much.